we are going to design instrumentation and control for a small water plant. This is going to be a four part series. This is part one where we will explore the PFDs and PNIDs. So let's design the plant. So stick around. We are going to design our plant. We are going to start our detailed engineering. So the first uh, thing that we should do is just look up at the PFD and the PNIDs. We are going to start looking at the PFD, that is process flow diagram. So this is the PFD that uh, has been prepared for our process, for our water plant process. So as you can see, this is the PFD and it shows the flow of process that it shows what is going into the system and what is coming out of the system. That is how input is getting converted into output. So from this PFD, you can see that there is the tank farm of which has hydrogen bullets and oxygen bullets. Bullet is just a fancy term for a tank. Uh, it's uh, it's shaped uh, kind of a bullet. That's why it is called as uh, bullet. And uh, this is the input to our process. This input is going to our water combustion reactor. And from this, we are getting the output that is water. So, this PFD shows us the input, how it is getting converted into the product here in this reactor and from here it is coming to the underground water reservoir. So, this is our process flow diagram and uh, in addition to that, it shows some of the support utilities such as this catalytic uh, regenerator. Uh, I would like to say that uh, our uh, process is a simple process of making water. Uh, we are going to make water by burning hydrogen in the presence of oxygen here in this reactor. Uh, this catalytic generator regenerator is there to give catalyst to this reaction so due to the catalyst this reaction is going to speed up uh, this catalyst is being used up in this reactor and then it is regenerated in this re regenerator and again it is pumped back into this water combustion reactor in addition to that we have shown some uh, support utility which is this nitrogen nitrogen with this tanks it is being pumped into the plant network because nitrogen is being used to actuate the walls those walls are control walls and on off walls so i think you have gotten an idea of uh, the pfd uh, of the process that we are going to show so we will go to the first PNID. This is the first PNID. This is the PNID of the water combustion reactor. This is the main reactor combustion. PNID shows all the piping as well as equipment and instruments in detail. So with the help of PNID, we can go forward and start preparing our drawings and documents. So you can see here that oxygen is coming from tank farm, hydrogen is coming from tank farm. It has this uh, control valve to control the level of this reactor. And then we have this hydrogen coming from tank farm and it will go into this reactor uh, then as we have seen in the PFD there is catalyst coming and then catalyst is dra drained out from here and it is going to catalytic regeneration uh, there is this timed spark generator this uh, timed spark generator keeps on generating spark in a timely manner 
at uh, time intervals. After that, we see that it has the output and that output will go here into water underground. And uh, the output line has uh, an on-off wall as well as a control wall. So this is the first PNID of the plant. This is the second PNID. This is the tank farm PNID. Uh, this PNID shows us the tanks involved in the process in the storage area. Storage area is called as tank farm in a plant. So because it's uh, is a farm of tanks, if you see it in an aerial view, you will be able to see that it looks like a farm which has tanks. And so this PNID shows us the hydrogen and oxygen bullets. So it has four hydrogen bullets, as you can see, and uh, it has its relevant instruments in each of the bullets that is the pressure gauge, temperature gauge, level transmitters uh, and a pressure transmitter and uh, there is a control valve on the output line and uh, there is uh, an on off valve also so and uh, one level transmitter is for safety system so this diamond means that it is for the safety system and uh, a circle inscribed in a rectangle uh, square means that it is belonging to the distributed control system so this is the second pnid so the hydrogen comes from the hydrogen capture plant uh, and uh, it goes to our main reactor combustion here. Similarly, the oxygen comes from main reactor oxygen capture plant and uh, it goes to main reactor combustion. Reservoir collection PNID. So in this PNID, we are showing the water that is coming from our main reactor and see it is coming from the main reactor to this reservoir this reservoir has a level transmitter which is the uh, signal is going to the main reactor combustion PNID it has a pressure transmitter and a safety system level transmitter after that we can see that there is this catalytic regeneration PNID in which the catalyst is coming from the main reactor it is coming here it is getting regenerated because of the steam from the boiler and again it is being pumped to the main reactor it has all the relevant uh, instruments pressure transmitter pressure gauge then level transmitter control valve and uh, on off valve and the final PNID we have is the nitrogen PNID so nitrogen plant PNID so what it does is uh, from the nitrogen from these bottles is going to this compressor and it is this compressor is pumping it to the plant network and it is this nitrogen is being used to drive the control valves and the on off valves after this now we are going to go and design the instrument index.